Welcome, everyone. This is Bill Stearns, NE4RD, with the Linux and the Ham Shack podcast. This is episode six of our Shack build. And let's just remind ourselves where we're at here. This is an Ubuntu 1704 installation with uh, Ubuntu Budgie. And this is on a Dell laptop. And today we're going to install that second rig in our in our CQR log installation. So right now we have the FT450D is uh, our, our rig one. And we're going to set up our rig two, which is the ICOM IC703, which is my kind of backup rig, my, my spare rig and my, uh, my digital rig. Uh, I'm going to be making it a digital rig for the Jamboree on the Air coming up this weekend. So I'm trying to get it all set up so I, uh, I just have everything ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to uh, take a look at our transceiver control here real quick. So in our TRX control, we can see that Radio 1 is set up as the FT450D. Its host is localhost. And we have the rig model is 127, which is the FT450. And the device is TTYS0. Full rate 500, that's default. 4532 is the port number, that's also default. Running rig control D when the program starts, that is not default, but we want that on so we don't have to actually start it up prior to loading up CQR log manually. And uh, this we have the serial speed set up as 4800. So we're going to set up our rig 2 here, and you can see this is all the defaults that would normally are in here. We have the dummy control and uh, no name. So my uh, my IC703 has a CIV cable that plugs in via USB, and I'm going to go ahead and plug that in now, and then we're going to figure out what device oops, what device it's plugged into, or what device it is, so we can go ahead and get it into our logging program. Let's see. All right, so I have it plugged in. I see a light blinking back there, so that's good. So let's figure out what device it just took. Now there's many ways to do this. Um, my, my particular way is just the way I've always done it. <laughs> I use D message, which is kind of like a, like your live log um, from the, from the system. I use D message and I, uh, I'm going to grep for USB. So I'm searching for USB and then I'm going to pipe that output out to tail minus one and just grab that last line. So the last line of a USB device that popped through my D message was the serial device controller is now attached to TTY USB one. So that is our device that the, uh, that the IC703 CIV connection has just taken. So we're going to go into our transceiver control here and we're going to go ahead and make our radio to the IC703. We're going to leave it local host. We're going to change it to the ICOM 703, which I think is 355. Yep, there it is. We're going to pop in dev PTY USB1. We're going to leave the poll rate the same, the port number the same. And we're going to turn on rig control when the program starts. And we're going to set our serial speed to 9600 baud, which is what the serial speed of the CIV controller is set at for the rig or rather the rig is set at 9600 baud. Um, generally, I don't like leaving it default, which sort of auto senses, but it sort of doesn't. Uh, it's much better if you already know the baud rate to go ahead and plop, plop the baud rate in there. Now, the reason we're using the same port number that we used in radio one, so if you look at radio one, it's the same port number, because CQR log turns off the control from one rig to the other when you flip between them. So there's no need to have a separate port number for the second rig because they don't run simultaneous. Um, that, that could be problematic if you are doing two different rigs, logging and running at the same exact time. Uh, this is really set up for, you know, I'm flipping between my run radio when I'm doing this activity and I'm flipping to my other radio when I'm doing this activity. But for simplicity's sake, this, this allows the same configuration to be shared between both rigs. So when you launch applications like WSJTX or FL Digi, it will go ahead and use the rig that you happen to be selected at the time, 
which does simplify configuration quite a bit because now we don't have to customize WSJTX and FL Digi to use this other rig and then be able to flip back and forth between them. It's going to be transparent to uh, those, those applications that we actually switch the rig underneath of its feet. So this should, uh, this should work. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to see the transceiver control. Which you can see over here is probably going to flash. Go blank while it resets. OK. And it did. And we can see that our new IC703 is listed here now with a radio button. And for demonstration purposes, I have the FT450D is on 20 meters on the uh, WSJTX FT8 frequency. And I have the IC703 on 15 meters in CW mode on 2106202. So let's flip over to that and see if it actually sees that rig. And there we go. The uh, it does see that it's on 15 meters, 2106202 in CW mode, and we can see that populates over here in the auto uh, connection for the log. So that all actually actually is functional. And let's just take a look at the command behind that in our terminal. So if we uh, take a look at the uh, process for rig control. We can see that right now rig control D is running with that model 355 on the device of uh, TTY USB 1 and a serial speed of 9600 baud. And if we flip back to the 450D, we're back on 20 meters. And let's see what's running in the background now. We can see that rig control D has switched to using the 127, model 127, which is the FT450D on, on uh, TTYSOS0, sorry, and uh, the speed of 4800. So that all happens in the background. That's why there's a little delay on switching between rigs. And let's just confirm that our configuration over on WSJTX works fine. We'll go ahead and launch that up in remote mode. And I'm probably going to flip the frequency pretty quick because I think, yes, I know for a fact that the signal link is plugged in via, via the FT450D. So it's going to be pulling 20 meters uh, audio and, and uh, it'll have a frequency of 21062. So let's go ahead and run it. We'll just go ahead and confirm that. And then I'll switch the frequency on the uh, IC703 through the uh, WSJTX app. There we go, we got our 2106202. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip it to 14074. You probably heard my rig click in the background, that was it switching frequencies. So that way we don't mislog something in the wrong band on uh, PSK Reporter. But there you go. I can see that uh, 20 meters is quite active here. So uh, we have uh, two rigs connected now to our CQR log installation. And that's all we really wanted to cover for this particular episode, number six. If you have any questions or have any problems getting your rig connected, I know I had someone uh, talk about a Kenwood uh, TS590SG. And uh, I believe that one uh, has, a, has a special circumstance because it brings over audio and the serial connection. So it has a CAT connection and audio devices. So it's a little different, but... It should still work inside of Linux. I, I don't have one to test, um, but uh, I'm, I'm almost certain that it would, it would populate both devices, an audio and a serial device. So anyway, this is Bill Stearns, NE4RD, and you can uh, check out our show. We're in hiatus right now until January. Um, the Linux in the Ham Shack podcast. We're over at lhspodcast.info. It's a great time to get caught back up on our episodes. And we'll uh, talk to you soon here another here in the channel. Seventy three.